legacy, you know, um, we all saw what happened on Monday Night Football, you know, as a football player, how difficult was you to see and witness that on Monday Night Football yourself? Um, yeah, it's definitely difficult. Um, you know, we uh, kind of get normal to, you know, how the game of football is played and don't really look at how violent the game is. So seeing a play like that, um, it's hard, man. Um, I'm praying for, you know, him, his family, um, the Bills organizations, teammates, and everyone, you know, involved in that. So it's tough, but um, everyone's praying for him. Our team, our family's praying for him. So um, hopefully, you know. Focus at your task and then another um, transpired, but you guys have a big game coming up this Sunday as well. Um, yeah, it's definitely tough um, after you know, something so you know traumatic happens like that um, to go out there and obviously focus on competing and playing the same sport that you know something like that can happen. Um, it's definitely tough um, working through it. Um, I think we did a good job of talking about it, um, coming together um, as a team. And uh, just talking about what happened, and um, getting, getting, getting back and trying to stay focused on uh, on our game. And with this game of so much magnitude, how much confidence do you guys have going in? It looks like Skyler might most, most likely be the starter. How much confidence do you guys have going in with him uh, against the Jets? Oh uh, yeah, now we definitely uh, confident, confident Skyler, confident uh, our players and playmakers to you know help and okay. build them up and go out there and compete and try to execute our game plan. What do you think? Um, Skyler does does uh, very well. Uh, I think Skyler's just. I think he don't try to be no one else but himself. He should go out there and try to play his game. Um, he don't try to be, you know, a two or a Teddy B. Go out there and just play his own game. How much do you know about Mike Lennon? He was just brought on. How much will it help for him to play the entire game <laughs> once? Because as we know, you know, they've never started the game and ended the game between Lennon and, um, and Skyler. Uh. So, Uh, definitely, I think it's just gonna help him out. Um, just confidence, his confidence level going throughout the game, starting knowing he's gonna go out there and, and play and hopefully finish in the game. So, just it's more for him to go out there and just get a like kind of a view and in game plays. Oh, I was just asking about Mike Lennon. Uh, how much do you know about him uh, coming in here? And I know a little bit about Mike. I know he's an OG. I think like ninth year, played for a couple of uh, teams. Um, he can come in and help us out. Um, in the back end, so I know a little bit of my thing. What's the line for you between a young guy and OG? You call another quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I think he like nine years, huh? Yeah. I think like nine year. I think you get that OG status like after like fifth, sixth year. Mm -hmm. I don't know. After the rookie contract. Uh -huh. You've seen this Jets rivalry now, you know, in your second year. We know a lot of New Yorkers live down here in South Florida. How important is for the South Florida fans, the Dolphin fans especially, to flood the field on Sunday to make sure you know you guys have the true home for the band? Yeah. Yeah, nah, definitely. We want um, all our fans and um, all our fans to come out and support us. Um, it's going to be a, a good game. We definitely uh, you know, need all the support and, and all the, the help we can get to get this W um, this, uh, this week. So everybody needs to come out and uh, show support. Mike Lennon, Mike Lennon said that his six-year-old son was excited about the Dolphins because he loves the waddle. Uh-oh. What, what are your thoughts on showing him a waddle? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> hopefully, you know, if, uh, if it, everything's right, hopefully we can do a little dance in the end zone. <laughs>